Alrighty, so you, the one that's watching the video right now, I need your help. Tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern, we are going to be doing a fantasy draft live on Twitch. Link is in the description, also in the pinned comment. That team that you guys draft for me, round by round, you are going to be selecting the players that I draft. We're going to take that team and we are going to rebuild it for the next video. So, live, you guys will be selecting every player every round. And then off camera, I will go and rebuild that team. So if you guys want to get involved in that fantasy draft, make sure you're on my Twitch channel at 11 p.m. Eastern tonight. Again, link in the description. Link is in the comment section. All right. All right. Let's hop into today's video. So what we're going to do is there's some really good rookies in the majors right now. I'm talking about Big Meat Pete. I'm talking about Vlad. I'm talking about Tatis. There's more, but I don't want to keep rambling on. I put them all on a team and we're going to have some fun today. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoy MLB content. We're really close to that 15,000 mark. Let's hit it by the end of the month. And in the comment section, let me know who's going to win rookie of the year this year. My bet is Pete Alonzo from the National League. I'm not too sure about the American League yet, but I think Big Meat Pete's taking it. So. Let's get into today's video. Let's have some fun. All right, so we got the rookies all lined up. And what we're working with here, I think is a pretty solid team. We got Senzel in center, Tatis at short. We got Vladito at third, Big Meat Pete at first. We got Biggio at second, Verdugo, Eloy Jimenez, Williams Astudio. Yes, I know. We got Williams. We got Little Sexy on the team. And then our DH is Jordan Alvarez. It's Jordan. I know he wants to go by Jordan, but whatever. And then on the bench, we got Austin Riley, Danny Jansen, Michael Chavis, and Chavis. Michael Chavis and Brandon Low, Lau, whatever it is. All right. So I know I know they got a low and they got a Lau. I always forget which one's which. For rotation, we got Kikuchi, Paddock, Soroka, Turnbull, and John Means on the the bullpen side of things, we got Alcantara, Toussaint, Duplantier, Josh James, Framber Valdez, Yoan Lopez, Elvis Luciano, and Ty Butchery or Butchery. It's one of the two. But I know there's players like Jordan Yamamoto. I really wanted to get him in, but he was just really badly rated, and I didn't want to toy around with too many ratings. Um, Trey Wingenter of the Padres is another available player we could have gone with. Um, but the pitching, oh, there was another one. Uh, Thomas Pannone of the Blue Jays, he was another option. There's some there's some decent pitchers out there, but these were kind of the, the best of the bunch. And when we're looking at players, I left out Rowdy Tellez, Christian Walker, Victor Robles, um, Christian Stewart, and Keston Hiura Hira of the Brewers. Um, I know there's a lot of, there, there's a lot of rookies this year, and there's a lot of good ones. But I just kind of went with some of my faves and some that I think are kind of in the runnings for rookies of the year. So let's get into it. Here's the squad. What we're going to do is we're just going to focus on this team. I'm not really going to focus on the draft or anything. I want to see how well this team develops and just how well we can do with this team alone. It's kind of strong already and it's only going to get better. So let's hop into it. Let's have some fun. If you got, Guys, hit that like button and I'll catch you all at the end of season one. Season one, we're not gonna talk about, it, okay? What I'm about to show you is a secret that doesn't leave this video. Like, okay? We finished 64 and 98. We weren't the worst team in baseball. Um, the Orioles were. No, I lied. The Marlins were. But um, I think we're gonna win rookie of the year, right? We At least we got that. You know, I think the odds were stacked in our favor. But let's take a look. See how things went. Hitting wise, from what I was seeing, could have been a lot better. Um, I expected a little bit better. Like 266, I think, is our highest average. 271. Okay. But I'm, I'm expecting a little bit better from these guys. Um, overall, it's not terrible. I mean, most of them are on the 250 range. So, I mean, I'm not freaking out just yet. But... Um, it does suck that most of our pitchers are starters like rookie relievers are pretty tough to come by that are good in MLB So that's why I kind of picked the the bunch that I did like Spencer Turnbull struggled Framber Valdez 
horrible. Josh James is actually pretty good. Duplantier struggled a bit. Um, Ty Butchery, Butchery was trash. Like, absolutely horrible. Yoan Lopez is a G for being how, like, low-rated he is. He pitched so well. And then Elvis Luciano was, uh, or Luciano was pretty solid. Let's take a look at Tuki Toussaint. He's up to a 70. I mean, he might be a player we look at. Um, I mentioned Trey Wingenter. I might trade for him next year to replace one of our bullpen arms, um, just so that we actually do have an actual real bullpen arm. Um, I'll also look to see if there's any other rookies that were, well, any other rookies that were um, this season that we, you know, we don't have on the roster that we could potentially trade for. But for the most part, I like the core that we have right now. Um, you guys can see, like I said, we didn't make the playoffs. We were a very, very, very bad team. So we'll just go to the offseason. We'll see who wins the World Series. Most of the contract negotiations are going to be, you know, the usual. We're going to sign them back um, because we need to keep this core player, core of players. So there's that. Season one was a horrible, horrible, horrible experience. Let's just hop into season two, see how the pro player progression happens and hopefully make the playoffs all right so let's let's get into it alrighty so taking a look at the squad not much has changed the only change was we sent Turnbull to the Padres for uh, Trey Wingenter that's really about it so Kikuchi's up to an 87 Paddock's up to an 85 Soroka 82 John Means Duplantier are both eight, uh, 78 and then we got the bullpen is really what's screwing us over a lot like that's what's destroying us because we just don't have you know proper relievers that's that that does you know make a big difference so let's rock with this um the lineup is the exact same nothing has changed uh, a couple players got moved out of the lineup some got moved in um but senzel tatis vlad uh alonzo brandon lau jordan eloy austin riley and astudio so i know on the bench we still got verdugo biggio jansen and chavis but, you know, I, I, the offense is there. And that's that's what I'm liking. I like that we're seeing really good progression with these offensive players. We're going to get, you know, home runs and everything. This is where we're going to struggle. And it makes sense. There's just, when you look at relievers in the MLB, you're, there's not too many good rookie relievers. Um, they're mostly good starters. So, there's the squad for Season 2. Hopefully, we can make the playoffs. We'll see how it goes. Catch you guys at the end of the year. So you remember how I said, let's not worry about season one. Let's just forget it happened. Well, just because I knew what was going to happen season two and we're going to make the playoffs. So we went 99 and 63. We're taking on the athletics in the divisional series. I do want to point out we got whooped by the Phillies 25 to three, though. I mean, we got destroyed. I really don't want to carry that momentum into the end of the year. But 99, 63, we won the division by 12 games. I mean, we were actually... Besides the Yankees, one of the best teams in the the that like the MLB. I think what the third best team in MLB. So that's good to see. Uh, Kikuchi had the most wins. Elvis Luciano had the most saves. So let's take a look. So Kikuchi, holy cow! I mean, the WHIP 1.2 is about average, but the 2.81 ERA, solid amount of strikeouts, 19 and six. We got Paddock, who. You know, it's right there with Kikuchi. So we got a nice little one two punch. Soroka, not bad. Like, that's solid too. A 325 ERA, 1.19 whip. John Means, okay, he struggled a little bit, but we're going to pretend like that didn't happen. And then we got Duplantier, who, I mean, is looking solid as well. Al Alcantara's there. Um, Framber Valdez sits really nicely in this role compared to last year. So that's good to see. Uh, Josh James, again, very solid. Better than last year, Ty. I'll, I'll accept that. It's better than last year. Uh, Trey Wingenter struggled quite a bit. Yoan Lopez was at a three ERA at the deadline day. So putting him in that setup role really screwed him over. And Elvis Luciano, he was, what, 18 when he was called up to the bigs this year uh, in real life this season? Like, this guy might actually be the real deal in a franchise. Like, if you need someone that's going to come in and shut the door who's low rated and cheap, Elvis Luciano is your man. But let's hop into this. Let's take a look at our bench. You know, not not terrible, not amazing, but um, this is where we really thrive. Nick Senzel, almost 300 with 20 home runs about. 
Brandon's hitting 276. Okay, Vlad Jr. is almost a 94, hitting 37 home runs and 92 RBIs with a cool 304 average. Okay, Pete Alonso hit 30 home runs with 100 RBIs almost. Jordan Alvarez is right up there. Eloy Jimenez, same same thing. Um, Tatis's hitting stats are really hurting him, um, but I mean he's still putting up 20 home runs with 82 RBIs. Biggio's up to an 88. I think he has to start. But where? Where does he start? Maybe move him to like one of the corner outfield spots. I mean, I don't know. We're, we're kind of backed up in where we can put these players. And we got Williams at Studio at a 253. So, I mean, Biggio's got to start. I just don't know where. We're going to have to figure something out for sure. So, looking at the squad, you know, pretty solid. Like, we're taking on the Oakland Athletics, and we're facing our, you know, we're facing uh, the wonderful elimination as per usual. That's just what happens. That's how things go. We're going to let Duplantier take the mound, and we're going to score in the third inning. I'm going to call it right now, the third inning. Um, Chisenhall, Martini, those are some new names. Jason Castro. So, let's see. We got a double, but nothing happened, so... I could be right. We could be scoring here in the third inning after we allow two runs. So there's that. All right. We didn't score in the third inning. I'm a liar. So we're down two. Duplantier is struggling a little bit, but I don't need the bats to go absolutely quiet right now. There we go. Austin Riley solo shot. That's good. That's a good start. And that's all we get. We only get one run. So we at least halved the difference. Bases loaded, Jurickson Profar's up. I know he's a switch hitter. So we're just gonna go to we're gonna go to Josh James because he was he was the man this season. Look what he does. He gets us out of that jam. A double for Chavis. Who's starting over both Biggio and Lowe. Okay. And then two outs for Jordan. Jordan, whatever he wants to be called by. Uh get us out of it. Come on. Ooh, he is clutch. Josh James is the man. All right, we got a double. No, 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 no. All right, let's uh, let's switch it up. Let's go. You know what? Josh James has been pitching well. We'll keep him in. All right. Can we do it? Starts with Big Meat Pete. He's 0 for 3. Strikes out. Eloy strikes out. All right, we're going to pinch it. This is the man to do it. Hit by pitch. See what I told you. He was the man. But then we get out. So we get eliminated from the playoffs. But that's a complete turnaround to go from 50 wins season one to 99 in season two. Season three is our year. I'm calling it now. It is 100% our year. Let's see. The Athletics won the World Series with that team. Are you serious? How? They're, and they swept the Dodgers? How? How? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, anyways, there's all there's season two. Let's hop into season three. See how things go. It's gonna be our year. I can feel it for sure. Alright, season three. I think this is where we actually like break through and just absolutely destroy everybody. Senzel is up to an 82. We got an 87 Tatis Jr., 94 Vlad Jr., 88 Big Meat Pete. And then we got we got a pretty solid squad. I mean, besides Jordan Alvarez and Astudio. Everybody else is like 80 and above. So I'm liking I'm liking what I'm seeing for sure. We definitely got some good bench bats as well. Again, I think this is where we get let down in the bullpen. Um, we're going to bring Yoan Lopez there, even though he's been very reliable as a setup man. We'll see how things go. Kikuchi's up to a 90, 87 for Paddock. I mean, the team looks, team, team looks good. Team looks pretty solid. So there's that. We got Tuki Toussaint still down here. He's still pretty low rated. So I don't really want to bring them up just yet. Overall, we made the playoffs last year. We should make them again this year. We should actually make it past the first round of the playoffs. So, yeah. Let's just, let's just see how things go. Alrighty, so we're a postseason team again. 93 and 69. So not as good as last year. And we're taking on the Athletics once again. So again, we had some league leaders. Okay, just one. Oh, two. Soroka with winning percentage. And Tatis with 199 hits. So you guys can see 
pretty pretty comfortable in the division looking at the lineups 281 for senzel not too bad 27 home runs with 56 rbis tatis is up to a 91 did he just raise his batting average like 60 points while hitting 11 triples 41 doubles almost 200 hits i mean not bad not bad at all definitely a huge improvement vlad jr is hitting 322 with 31 homers and 88 rbis pete alonzo average went up home runs are the same rbis went down a little bit but still a very solid season brandon low Lau, whatever it is 37 home runs and 107 rbis he does this very often in franchise i don't know what it is he turns into just like a extreme power hitter so if you guys need one that plays second base he's the guy to get jordan alvarez is still mid-20s in home runs i mean that's a solid season Eloy is up to a 90 after three seasons so that's a solid improvement biggio's 87 um he played every single game this year average went down a little bit so that's probably why his overall says he's going down and we got big sexy williams at studio he's doing okay he's not doing anything too crazy but uh overall holy michael chavis okay 340 average not too bad not too bad pretty solid so let's look at the the pitching kikuchi is just lights out holy cow soroka same thing a 1.06 whip is disgusting chris paddock had a bit of a down year duplantier not too great and neither was john means so victor you, you just you can't be part of the squad bud sorry it's just no 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 victor you got you gotta you gotta you gotta go back down so who's coming up whoa no no you don't take elvis out elvis is elvis is part of the squad for the reason he's part of the squad for the reason they also have no 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 where's where's the homies at where's my squad squad uh where the squads at what Who'd they take out? They took out a pitcher. Who who am I missing? I'm missing somebody. Oh, Sandy. How'd you do this year? Pretty badly. I can see why they took you out. But we're going to bring you back in. And then we got to get rid of him. So, there's that. We got it all fixed. Let's take a look at how things went. So, Fran Bear, str Fran Bear struggled. Sandy struggled. Josh James struggled. Ty was pretty solid. I mean, the whip's a little high. 1.4 is not good. Not good at all. But the ERA's very good. Trey, what is that? Trey Wingenter, what is that? Okay, Elvis struggled a little bit. And Yoan Lopez. Yoan Lopez is that dude. He's going to be our closer. And we're going to put Elvis there. And we're going to rock with that. So our bullpen struggled heavily this year. But we're going to take on the athletics and we're going to win this year. We're not going to lose. All right, we might lose. We might lose, but we didn't go out down without a fight. So taking on the Athletics again, Ricky Henderson field. No, no, no. We're not letting John Means go. We're letting Kikuchi take the mound, and we're gonna win. We're gonna score in the third. Just kidding. We're gonna score right now. Big Meat Pete going deep. All right, double play gets us out of it. Guy on first. Guy on first and second. We bring in two more runs. We got a four-run lead. I like this. A lot so let's keep it going we've got the four run lead let's not give it up I, I, it's just what why why do you why do you have to do this that was lefty lefty too all right first and second one out bases loaded for Eloy please all you have to do is get a base hit that's all you had to do just not allow a run and then they go and do that it's double play sweet Kikuchi, stop allowing base runners. Senzel, Tatis, Vlad, anybody. All right, Kikuchi's done. We're going to go to our wonderful bullpen and go to Ty. I don't think this was the right move. It's looking like it's not the right move. And it wasn't the right move. Why? Okay, down two. Two innings left. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Sweet. Um, why does our bullpen have to let us down every single time? So, do we have a lefty? We do. 
um that can play left field we do yes what this is this is literally oh like deja vu the same team knocks us out back to back years why why does it have to do that to us every single time all right the dodgers defeated the yankees this time we're gonna do one more season because i cannot let the athletics get the best of me this time so let's hop into season four and let's do this Alrighty, so the lineup untouched as per usual um the only change we made was sandy alcantara is no longer on the major league squad he's in triple a uh we got tookie toussaint who's gonna be rocking that long relief role so that's really the only change i'm gonna be let down by my bullpen as per usual i'm already accepting that fact let's just hope we can actually make it past the first round of the playoffs that would be very very nice so yeah that's season four to start let's get into it let's let's win a series in the playoffs please like let's let's just let's just win the series Alrighty, last time to make it past the first series of the playoffs we're 94 and 68 and we're not taking on the athletics anymore we're taking on the rays who were my kryptonite in the last video so hopefully they won't be doing that to me this time so we got some league leaders jordan alvarez for batting average and then kikuchi and luciano for saves and wins okay and then we got a silver slugger and a gold glove so it looks like we're making steps like to become a lot better like senzel's up to a 91 with 37 home runs and 83 rbis we got tatis jr hitting 274 with 18 home runs so a little bit down in the power and run production but not too bad vlad jr is a 99 44 homers 107 rbis 318 average he is too good uh pete alonzo struggled a bit a little bit just a little bit um not bad 262 not terrible not too sure why he's going down just because he didn't have as good a year as last year which i think is stupid but oh well jordan alvarez 320 average 33 home runs 101 rbis almost a 400 on base percentage ops of 982 scary good eloy not amazing but whatever austin riley's a 90 overall with 18 home runs and 57 rbis and then astudio not too bad either so man michael chavis should probably be starting <laughs> not too sure where but he, he probably should um so yeah there's that pitching wise i already know kikuchi did very well a sub one whip gross and we got paddock solid okay soroka even better duplantier not too bad okay that's the best our starting five has ever looked and then we got josh james which is meh took you to not too bad meh tie his best year yet this is what i want to see oh no i lied last year he did very very well this year still very well trey i think this is his best year since he's joined us oh yeah by a long shot framber a lot better here we got yoan who is just he's just too good i don't understand it how how do you go back to back sub one uh sub two eras and then elvis struggled a little bit that whip at 1.6 really is worrisome so i like the team they're scary good already three seasons in um and they're most of them are still really young so let's see how this matchup goes as per usual facing elimination so we're playing comerica which eh, nah, eh, eh. we're gonna let duplantier take the mound i'm looking at their squad they got brandon nimmo okay um a led miss diaz at short maybe maybe voice crack um let's keep going come on we're taking on yarborough so maybe we can take advantage of this double play love it i love it so much it's the best first and second no outs there's a run i'll take it it's a sack fly but i'm gonna take it anyways <sighs> thrown out really strike out fly out that's why that's why i do sack flies because we should be scoring there bases loaded with one out you definitely should be scoring there oh i wasn't paying attention he needs to come out uh lefties let's go friend bear double play gets out of it 
a double okay boom see now we got two runs instead of one perfect double play i'm not i'm not seeing a lot of home runs here which with how much power we have in the lineup we definitely should be doing we won as we should be doing so this means final game we're gonna quick manage it as per usual tropicana what a stadium we're gonna have kikuchi take the mound and we're taking on blake snell so this is gonna be a tough matchup robertson goes deep but we got big meat pete to equalize for us first oh first and third sack fly makes it a 2-1 game in our favor make it a 3-1 game because big meat pete came to play today i like it i like it a lot so let's keep going two outs Ooh, if we would have scored there that would have been really nice would have been really nice all right they got guillermo heredia in. like we cannot lose with guillermo heredia on the field right now i will be disgusted as i say that kikuchi what are you doing man what is going on? You, you can't be doing this nonsense. Like, you weren't even tired at the time of deciding to just fall apart. All right? I just like the sound. What just happened? I can't believe it. 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 <sighs> this that hurts deep down inside. You know, it just it hurts a lot. So, oh man, you guys can see the team here. I mean, the team is good. Like it's scary good. It it really comes down to this right here. Like you you can't rely on anybody in in this bullpen at all which sucks because when you got these kind of starters you're expecting really good outings from them you're expecting to put up 400 runs with this power and this bat and you, these bats sorry not the bat these bats like you should be scoring like 10 runs a game you should be able to have your starters go deep into the games and then your bullpen just is like silver platter handing it over to your opponent because they're so bad so bad so unfortunate it really is but that is how today's video is going to end it sucks it sucks but that's how it is so again guys 11 p.m eastern we are going to be on twitch make sure you go and follow that link that is in the description as well as in the pinned comment and i hope you guys enjoyed today's rebuild again let me know who you think is going to win Rookie of the Year in the AL and the NL. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button and subscribe if you are new and enjoyed the content. I'll catch you all in the next video. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.